What is up everyone? We are here with some Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. We got some uh, news and announcements. Now, um, we're gonna before I get into these, remember if you do like what you see guys, if you'd like to drop that like, drop a comment down below what you think about uh, what we got here. Subscribe if you're not already. Again, these things would be absolutely amazing. Help the channel grow. Um, again, I'm just kind of letting everything happen naturally. I'm not trying to force things to happen, so... Um, it's great if these, you know, if you guys do those things. Because I'm not really trying to really throw myself out there. Um, everything with that's happened with this channel has just been kind of a native, natural thing. But that's not what you came here for. You came here for this. So one of the things I want to talk about is with the first crossover banner. This is something I, I mentioned and I skimmed over. And it's this thing right here. The new Red 13 exclusive weapon will not be appearing in this draw. So there's going to be a Red 13 exclusive weapon because I was complaining that there was nothing to go with this. And, you know, he's got one weapon that does fire and that's it. He has no ice weapon. So this Red 13 exclusive weapon that will eventually be appearing, is this going to happen during the crossover? So is this going to be a crossover weapon? Is this going to be something that happens post crossover? Because it just says it's not happening in this draw. So are we going to have a new crossover draw, or is this the only crossover draw we're getting? I would find that weird for this to be the only crossover draw we're getting for what would be the span of 18 days. It's not right. 14, 17 days. I would find that weird. So I'm assuming we're at least getting one more uh, crossover draw. I know we're getting a new free weapon, and that's one of the next things that's going to pop up in the news here in a second, but, uh, so, yeah, it, it still, in theory, could be worthwhile to pull on this. The problem is, you're going two pages deep to get to Red's outfit, unless you move it to page one. Can it be moved to page one? So you're going, two, in theory, two pages deep on this. No, you can change it, okay. So a page or two deep, I mean, if you're going for Tifa's weapon, you might as well go ahead and go for her outfit. So yeah, I mean, you're going two pages deep to get to his outfit. For who knows what this weapon's going to be. I'm hoping it comes out before we lose this crossover. So I can make that decision, you know, how do I pull? But... So there's that. We are we, we are getting a weapon. And hopefully it does benefit from that. Uh, there was an issue with the appearance of the crossover weapon pack. This was in the step up draw. So the guide gloves obtained from step 7 were mistakenly included in the purchase conditions for the crossover weapon pack. Causing the pack to unintentionally appear. So they decided to make this available to everyone. Again, it is a bot thing, so you do have the ability to uh, go and buy this for 5,000 crystals. Again, if you're somebody who, you know, is a dolphin or a whale, go for it. If you went for her weapon. Um, again, if you're free to play, there's no, there's no, like, urgency to do something like that. Stay free to play. Okay, so here's the big thing. So Final Fantasy VII Rebirth crossover follow the hero prologue event coming soon. So this is the part two. This is actually going to happen at the exact same time that uh, the Rebirth uh, demo update releases. I mean, literally the exact same time. The Rebirth uh, demo is going to update February 21st. So at the time of recording, this is to it'll be tomorrow uh, at 4 a.m. PST, 7 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. And that's when this is going to update. So we'll, we'll, these things will be added. We'll be getting a new, well, it says a new crossover. New events will be added to the crossover event. Uh, the newly added cloud exclusive weapon, Igneous Saber, can be obtained through the exchange or by clearing event battle. So we're getting some new stuff in the, uh, in the event tomorrow morning. Uh, it will be 7 a.m. for me. So unfortunately, I will not be able to mess with this stuff until I get home from uh, teaching. Uh, additional rewards, uh, so additional information on the ongoing event, new exchange update. Additionally, the grasslands will be released. Uh, I'm assuming that's a part of the st 
story, or is this going to be like a crisis dungeon? Uh, and that's all we have is just additionally the grasslands will be released. I don't know what that actual thing means, unless it's just a part of this update. Because uh, I know that the update is going to be adding in the open world of the Junon area. So maybe it's that for the event. So here's a look at the Igneous Saber. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm going to have to look at the actual stats itself when we get it. Um, it's a magic weapon for Cloud, who mainly focuses physical. It is an AoE fire and has a boost magic attack by 27 points. Typically, when we've gotten these free weapons, the secondary R ability has been meh. So it's probably not going to boost fire. I mean, you look at um, uh, the Sephiroth weapon we got. And it's kind of the same deal. It boosts magic attack, but when you look at the actual weapon itself, it, it boosts him death. There's nothing here that boosts fire. So, I mean, we've got enough weapons that kind of do this kind of stuff. It's aside from using it to boost what you're gaining item wise, it's kind of a meh item. I'd rather find other ways to boost other, you know, boost what we got. Uh, so we'll see what, but usually these free weapons, both our abilities are not great. So this is probably going to be an MDEF or a PDEF is my guess. Um, it's not going to be like HP or fire. I mean, it very well could be, could be surprise me, but it inflicts up to 290% fire damage on I, uh, all enemies. So it is an AOE fire. So, uh, that can be obtained through the exchange. Uh, whatever, I'm assuming it'll be a, a new item drop. Right now we have like the planetary blessing and the hero coins. It may be hero coins again, we'll see. Oh, planet splendor. Planet splendor exchange has been added. Or will be added is what, more what it should say. Uh, so we'll have new items, four star weapon guarantee draw, character specific weapon parts, draw tickets, memories. So awesome, we sold the materia guardian, fire, cross, that's not going to be changing. Uh, there is something interesting in here, though. So in addition to countermeasures against force gauge, party-wide recovery and party-wide physical defense up are effective. So you're going to want to have AoE heals and physical defense up. Uh, also, enemies are going to be using this Salish, uh, Salian, Salintian slime, Salintian slime, which inflicts poison. So make sure you have healing poison with you. Yay. Uh, and that's all they've given us with this, you know. Um, is there going to be another draw? I hope so. Um, we got that free weapon. Like I said, I'm not holding my breath for how good it's going to be. Again, free weapons are typically just there to kind of fill in extra stats. Or if you just need that tiny little boost uh, to magic, you know, you don't need a full 40 some odd magic attack thing. Just that 20 with some higher stats there you go or physical attack or whatever that thing actually uh, adds to it so um, it's going to be a very kind of small fill in uh, but I'm excited to get this I hope those of you who are uh, our PS5 players out there are enjoying the remake or uh, uh, rebirth sorry brain fart uh, the rebirth demo uh, like I said I'm looking forward to when it finally drops on PC. Um, I definitely will be playing that when it comes out uh, and I'm excited for it. Like I said, the, this has gotten me really pumped for it. Um, I'm hoping you guys are ready for this as well. It's saving up my blue crystals. Like I said, I'm hoping there's a second crossover pull uh, that we can do that's going to be decent um, and we'll see where we go from there. So we're going to call this here. Thanks for watching guys. If you do like what you see, if you like to drop that like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already, that'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.